Hi, so I've had a few people ask me just to show how to set up projects in PyCharm in terms of the virtual environments. So here's a quick video on how to do that. So let's say that you're creating a new project from scratch and then I'll do that as a first example. And then as a second example, I'll do it if you've already created the project, you already have a virtual environment and just want to hook up PyCharm to it. So let's say we start with a new project. We can just start with a new project specify your location here i'm just going to call it let's say test one and then the python interpreter so i'm going to open that up and i don't have to do that right now but i'm going to choose a environment i'm going to choose this interface to actually create the environment as well and i'll show you how to do that in a second stage where maybe you haven't done it here and you still want to use PyCharm to create the environment. So I'm going to use virtual env, but depending on what you use, you can also choose pip env, which is what I personally use, and then you have other options as well. But let's look at the built-in one to Python, which is virtual env, and then it asks you where do you want to put that virtual environment. Usually I leave it as the default. If you want, sometimes people do a dot env, that becomes a hidden directory when you look at the directory. Of course, it won't be hidden inside PyCharm, but it will be there. What's important here is the base interpreter. Which one do you want to use as a base? Do you want Python 3.11, 3.10? I've got other ones, 3.9, 3.8, 3.7. .3 so in this case, let's say that I want to use the latest one. So that's important to specify which Python you want to use. Now, if you're on Windows, of course, this will look a little different, but you'll have the same options. And then I do not check any of these things. And of course, we have a new environment, not a previously configured interpreter. And I do not want to create a main.py welcome script. So at this point, I'm going to click on create. So this is going to create the project and it will be empty. There won't be anything in it. Now, how do you check to see what the environment is? Well, first of all, usually at the bottom, somewhere on that toolbar, you'll find the interpreter. So it will tell you the current interpreter is Python 3.11, which is located, you can see from the path, in vnv, right, bin. And if we open this up, you can see we have this virtual environment that got created. Now, if you want to switch this environment, or maybe you've opened this project, it's a Python project, but you skipped the create new environment, and you want to create one and assign it to the project. Well, for that, I can go to the PyCharm menu. On Windows, I think it will be under the file menu, but look for settings, right? One of those menus is going to have settings, and this is the interface that we want. Then we want to go to the project. So you can say it says project test one, you can see there, and then the Python interpreter. So right now, again, it tells us which Python interpreter is currently selected for this project. Let's say that I didn't have that and there was nothing there. Then I would be able to go and say add interpreter. I would add a local interpreter. And now we get to a very similar UI to what we had when we created the project. So do I want to use an existing or a new environment? In this case, let's say that I want to create a new environment and I'm going to call it vnv2. Again, my base interpreter is going to be the same. I want Python 3.11. Or maybe for this one, you know what? Maybe I want to use Python 3.10, right? So let's go ahead and create it. So now it's created that Python interpreter, and this is the one that is now linked with this project. Okay, so we can click on OK, and now we can start writing our Python code. We can create, you know, let's say a main.py. And then we can say if uh, name equals main, we can say print hello, right? Something like this. And if we want, we could actually import sys and let's actually print hello. Instead of printing hello, let's print sys.info and version info okay like so so now let's go ahead and run this file so it will run with the currently selected interpreter which is this one over here right 
So it is this one. I'm going to leave it as the 310. And if we run this, so let's go ahead and right click and run main. You can see that we're running Python version 310. Now for this project, I actually specified two virtual environments, right? I set up two virtual environments. If we go back and look at the settings, remember that I have this virtual environment and I also have the 311. So if I want to run this using 311, that's very simple. I go down here, I select the 311 interpreter, and now when I run, you see that it's now running 311. Okay, so that's how to set up virtual environments in Python projects. Now, the only other thing is to look at what happens if we already have a Python project that already has a virtual environment defined. How do we open it up in PyCharm? Well, that's easy. We just open up the project. But more importantly, how do we hook up the correct virtual environment? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to switch to a directory that I just created called demo. And now I'm going to make my Python directory. Let's call it, let's say, test2. And so if I go over to test2, obviously that's an empty directory. And I'm going to create two virtual environments in here. Now I'm going to do it because I'm on the Mac this way. Obviously, if you're on Windows, you're going to have a slightly different approach. Most likely you'll be using the Python launcher PY right? But in either case, I'm going to use Python's built-in virtual environment functionality, and I'm going to call this VN311 for the virtual environment for Python 3.11. So that creates the virtual environment. And then while I'm at it, I'm also going to create one for 3.10, just like we had before. And this one I'll call VN310, like so. Okay, so we have these two virtual environments. I don't actually have any code in here. We could, if we wanted to, just very quickly create a main.py. So let's go ahead and say import sys. And then I'm going to say if, I guess I could say if main equals, uh, if, sorry, if name equals main then we're going to go ahead and print sys.versioninfo, just like before, like so. Okay, so now if we look, we've got our Python application. It's not much of an app, but hey, it's a Python app. And we have two virtual environments. Now I'm going to switch back to PyCharm and open this project up. So we have our previous one open, and I'm just going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to pick that directory. So I go to the demo, and then I'm going to pick test2. I don't open test2, I just select it and just say open. And do you want to trust an open project test2? You may or may not get that. In this case, because I've created this new folder, it's asking me, do you want to trust this? I'll say, yeah, I want to trust everything in here. So I'll trust the project. Now, project can either be opened in a new window or replace the project in the current window, I'm going to say replace, right? So I'm going to say this window. So basically, I don't have two PyCharm windows open. So one thing you'll notice that we get this over here, which says Python 3.10 has been configured as a project interpreter. What happened is that PyCharm was able to see that we have two virtual environments already in this project. So it picked one and picked the first one. I guess it always picks the first one and it didn't configure any other ones, right? You can see that this one was configured already by default, but it didn't pick another one. So let's go ahead now and actually select it as one of the interpreters for this project. We're not going to create it like we did just now. We're going to select an existing one. So for that, we just go same as before. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to our project and we're going to select Python interpreter. You can also select the project and then select Python interpreter. Now you can see that it's already got this one configured, but I want to add another one. So I'm going to add an interpreter, add local interpreter, just like before, but I don't want a new one. I want an existing one. And you'll notice that it has this demo test to VN311. 
had already kind of picked it in my case because I tried this just before recording but if it didn't you would basically just go and select this virtual environment here in your path you would use this to basically open up your file browser or you know explorer or finder whatever you want to call it and you would basically find VN311 now I do want to show you something because that is kind of important if we go over to this let's say that I hadn't selected it before so I'm going to go to this directory over here I'm going to select the project directory so I'm here and I want to select now the virtual environment 311 you don't select the folder that's not going to work you'll see in fact that the OK is not highlighted when you select an existing virtual environment you need to give a path to the Python executable in the virtual environment specifically so in this case obviously we just have to open up the virtual environment we're going to go to bin if you're on Windows it's going to be a little bit different but essentially go to your scripts folder and it will be in there here we go to bin and I'm going to find either one of those three either Python Python 3 or Python 3.11 it doesn't matter in this virtual environment they're all synonymous so I'm going to choose Python and select that and so you can see that I have now this VN311 inside my test 2 project and I selected the Python that's inside the bin folder and that's all I need to do so now I've got this Python interpreter set up for my project so let's click on OK and you'll see down here that it's been selected so now I can run this just like before and you can see that we have Python 3.11 now I can still switch now to 3.10 and if we run again you'll see that now we have Python 3.10 so this is how you select an existing virtual environment when you already have one created and it will be the same thing with the other ones like pip and so on you just have to know where they're located and then go find the Python executable inside those virtual environments and link them up if you don't have one created already if you don't have a virtual environment created already as we saw it's very easy to have PyCharm create them for you and then it hooks them up automatically we don't have to do it manually and that's it for setting up PyCharm with Python virtual environments thanks for watching